In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create your own set of sheets completely from scratch using Excel. So first of all, I'm just going to show the header.html, so I'm only writing that one, and I'm just going to preview that. Okay, so you can see we've got our header HTML taken from our default templates that we've slightly edited. So now I'm going to go to my Excel file, and you can see that I've created this um, my own design within Excel. And this is literally just by me uh, merging cells together and then typing in parameters into those. Now, how we get this into Power Mill is we have to say File, Save As, I'm going to call it header. I need to save it as a HTML. I need to make sure I publish just the sheet and not the entire workbook. And it always wants to uh, change this after you've chosen HTML, HTML. You want to make sure that that does say HTML there. You want to save it as a HTML file. So once you've done that, you can say publish, publish, and then I'm going to point my paths in Power Mill to that folder, into that file. So I'm going to go to my setup sheets, go into the paths. I've saved this in a completely different location in another folder on my desktop. So if I go to my desktop, you can see that I've got Excel templates here. So I'm going to open that, and then I've got header.html, and I'm going to say open. So I can close that down now, and then I'm going to do a preview. And you can see that my design is shown within Power Mill. And you can do this for any of the other templates. You can see that I've got some gaps here where I haven't got a part name, a customer name, and an order number. I'll just show you where you can fill those in. If you right-click on your uh, top level of your NC programs, setup sheets, settings, then we get this option and we can write our customer, TSPM 2014, part, telephone mould, order number, I'm just going to call it A12345, close. Okay, so if I view that again, preview, you can see that all of these have now been filled. So you might be wondering why I put um, this template on a separate file on my desktop. Um, I called it Excel Templates. And that's because when I've uh, put the code in here in my Excel to call up the logos, there's no style sheet telling me what percentage of the width uh, I want them, so I've actually gone in and resized my images so they're much smaller, so they fit in my template. So that's something to be noted.